Hi everyone, my name is Felix. I'm the Senior Application Specialist here at Shop 3D. And today I'm gonna take you through the post-processing side of SLA 3D printing. If you've used a Formlabs machine before, you already know that the job is not done when the print is complete. You have to wash it. So stick around and we're gonna go over the top five reasons to go with TPM over IPA as your solvent of choice. For washing resin parts, Formlabs recommends two alcohol-based solvents, isopropyl alcohol, IPA, and tripropylene glycol monothomethyl ether, TPM. IPA has been the go-to choice for a long time with great benefits. However, TPM offers some strong advantages over IPA that make it a better alternative for certain use cases and work environments. So what is TPM? TPM is a low volatility, non-flammable, colorless, clear liquid with an ether odor and an oily feel. By description, it is a very different liquid. However, by nature, it accomplishes the same job as IPA, which is to dissolve liquid resin. So there's a choice to be made. And here are my top five reasons to choose TPM. Reason one, safety features. TPM is relatively non-toxic and non-flammable compared to IPA, which is a highly volatile and flammable liquid. TPM is proven to have a higher safety standard, especially for work environments that have poor ventilation and are at a greater risk of fire. In real-world applications, like when using the Form 3L and washing large resin parts, you will need large amounts of solvent in a single container. This increases safety concerns due to flammability, spillage, and increased fumes due to IPA's rapid evaporation rates. Reason two, effective cleaning. TPM cleans effectively at higher resin concentration as compared to IPA. This means that as TPM dissolves liquid resin during the wash, it can continue to clean parts effectively while IPA would have to be replaced for the same resin concentration. Simply put, TPM can wash around three times as many parts as IPA before needing to be replaced. Reason three, low risk of part damage. TPM is absorbed by cured resin less readily as compared to IPA. Leaving cured parts in IPA for prolonged periods of time causes warping as the parts absorb the IPA, but this is not the case for TPM. Cured parts will absorb a lot less TPM and therefore reduces the risk of warping and damage. Reason four, cost efficiency. TPM has a low evaporation rate and mixes well with water. This makes it a more economical solvent than IPA in the longer run. If you don't print too frequently, TPM would be the better choice for you as it does not evaporate between prints like IPA does. In some parts of the world, there are local restrictions to the procurement of IPA, making it difficult to source. TPM stands out as it is globally available, hence making it more accessible. So there you go, my top five reasons for choosing TPM. Ultimately, there are five things to consider based on your applications and projects. TPM is globally available, but it's likely only sold by specialized vendors. So if you're able to find a supplier of TPM, take advantage of this more specialized solvent. If this is your first time hearing about TPM, I'd recommend trying it out and adding it to your repertoire and skill base. And as always, you can give us a call if you have any questions about this product. If you like this video, subscribe. We have a ton of other videos coming your way, so don't miss out. And that's it. I'm Felix, and this is Shop3D.